far back as 2015, a lot of the oil companies had defaulted in paying. And GRA was not going after them until we published the list of the oil companies that were owing taxes to the state and did advocacy afterwards. Then that compelled them to rush to GRA. And through this work, uh, not less than $1 million had been paid to uh, GRA. But the component of anti-corruption we suspected was why were non-performing agreements not cancelled or why were actions not taken on these non-performing agreements. Even there are certain instances where some had not even met the minimum requirement yet were given extensions. What could have motivated this? And that is the focus of the stack support to push for anti-corruption measures in the upstream petroleum sector.